All right, hello, this is Laura of Enerstructa, and I'm just going to do this video about our window flashing for the ICF walls that we have on our off-grid home. So you can see around the frame of the window, there's this red stuff, and that is a liquid applied or fluid applied flashing, kind of known as either of those things. So you basically like you can paint it on. We got these two gallon buckets of it. And so we we painted it on with paintbrush that actually works the best. There's also spatulas you can use or probably other methods, but we just painted it on with brushes and it is the uh, Prosico Argard system. So this specific component of that is the fast flash. There are other parts that are different colors. So our process was, since our blocks have been exposed to the light, we have this, this sort of dust coating on them. So we needed to get rid of that so that this would stick. And so we sanded down the blocks and with a sander, which turned out to be like the easiest way to do it. I had tried using like a hard bristle brush at first, but the sander just was, was great to just sand off that coating. And then we just wiped it down with a damp rag. We did a little bit of a vacuuming of any like larger chunks in between that. So getting it down just back to the, the EPS foam so that this could have a good adhesion surface. One reason I chose the liquid applied versus a tape flashing is that I did some experiments in some tapes on the walls and I just wasn't confident that they were going to hold up over time. And so I looked to the liquid applied options and this is one of them, the Prosco system. There's also another one by Polywall called the Blue Barrier. And I think they're, they're kind of both similar in their chemistry of how they're made. They're like S STPE, I believe. But um, as far as their stickiness and, um, yeah, how they how they hold up over time. So, and I had used this on my tiny house I had built a while back, and so I was f kind of familiar with the product. I knew I could get it locally, so I got it in Portland. And versus the poly wall, I think had to come from like Texas or the the southeast, so it had to get shipped here. Price wise, I think this was slightly more cost effective. I think kind of just because it was local. I didn't have those extra shipping costs. And I got it from, from Atlas Supply in Portland. So yeah, so basically what we did is we cleaned the window and then back to the process, we cleaned the window and then we did one layer of this red on the face and then also on the, like in, on the inside of the frame, you know, you know, about like, you know, six inches or so on each, on each surface just to make sure that the rough opening was was covered, um, which is, you know, maybe more than you need to do with ICF, but it was just a good, you know, protection against any potential, like, water issues that are going to happen around the window frame. So we did that all the way around, and then we installed these windows. So we have the flanges, so we screwed, we had to screw the flanges into the, there's these, these BB points of this block system that are these, these strong points. So we screwed into those and then, and, but before we did that, we put, there's another part of this system that's white, um, that you put down as like a bead of caulk, kind of as you typically would install a window. So that goes in and then you install the window. We use screws cause we had to, cause you can't use nails with ICFs that we're using anyway. And then after that, we put on the second layer of the fast flash on top of the, of the window flange on the sides of the window and then on the top, but not the bottom because you wanna make sure if water ever gets inside that it is able to drain out. And so we have this flange, I, we end up using some, I don't know if you can see that, some shims here that I've seen other people do just so there's actually like a little bit of a, you know, 16th or an eighth inch gap between the flange and the wall so that water is more easily able to drain out. 
So we did that. And then, so if you're wondering about the air sealing part, the you do your air seal from the inside. So around the perimeter of the window, there'll be another bead of caulk that goes on all four sides of the window. So that, that gives the air seal. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video. And this seems like a really great system for ICF blocks for the foam for the styrofoam or even if you're just putting exterior foam on the house it seems like a really good product to be used as your water barrier and yeah we'll see how it holds up over time <laughs> all right that's all for now thanks